Eyes of Heaven. I was hoping for someone cool, but we got Fugo. Isn't Fugo cool? Yeah, but... I don't know who that is. Uh, he's part of Passione. He's part of uh, uh, so I'm, Bruno I'm, I'm, Gang. So I'm right there. Yeah, he's he, he but he's he's among the less cooler of members of the gang. Mista is the shit, and that's all you need to know. Hey, gang, if you made it past that intro and that uh, spoiler warning. You either hate JoJo and don't care, or like JoJo somewhat. And and so come on, yeah. come on in. If there's gonna be a, uh, there might be a weird middle where you like JoJo a lot, but you just haven't caught up, and so you're in the middle of Spoiler Town, heavy now, mass of Spoiler now, Town. Pretty much that's the go. JoJo's bizarre adventure. It's pretty good. You were asking me about. I think the dog episode for Rohan yes. came out like last week. So we're going in. Who will we be starting as? I'm going to guess... Speedwagon? Joe Taro. Speed. Oh, shocker. I remember, I remember, um, when, at the end of part four, I was blown away at how, like, mundane the actual, like, end of Kira was. Like, he gets hit by a shard of glass. <laughs> like that the, that's that's how they the, win what the setup to the they, final yeah is. but like yeah. like it, it, it's it's so uh un un, un unglamorous right like he gets slashed by a shard of glass in the neck and wanders off and gets eaten by a ghost yeah i was gonna say but then but then like like karma takes care of the rest yeah. and it's so and it's funny because we never see what happens to all the other villains but kira you get to see the karma because yeah. he's so fucking far D gone. Dio gets blasted, uh, like, okay. Cars Dio gets it the worst, of course. Uh, Dio gets locked in a coffin. Uh, Cars gets blasted into space. Uh, Dio gets uh, uh, annihilated into dust. Mm -hmm. uh, Kira gets fucking murked so bad. Uh, and um, I don't know what happens to the guy in part five, but I hear it's bad. Yeah, he gets, he's another, he, basically it's another car situation. Okay, the, 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 I, this is new. So, okay, I'm uh, currently on Jojo Leon. I've read all, all the parts You're up until You're as caught then. up as can be. I'm not, as ca I'm not fully <laughs> caught up on Jojo Leon, but I'm in the middle of it. You are, uh, wikied up to some degree. To some degree. Okay. I'm generally knowledgeable, but not an expert. And you don't mind? Nope, don't the mind. Full on Doesn't spoilers. affect me at all. Okay. Just like I hope everyone that is watching this by now, because yeah. we just spoiled a bunch of fucking shit yeah, over exactly. the past 20 minutes. Exactly. So, um, so you want to talk about bad shit? Uh, uh, Diavolo gets it because he gets stuck in a in an infinite loop. Of oh. Of, oh! of of um because uh, of uh because gold experience can yeah. make time slow down an on infinite, your perspective an infinite and all loop that. of cause with no consequence so he just dies for infinity <gasps> who's that we already know we are and we already know that like in alternate universes we have 36 cars on the moon and we have beyonds so oh shut up with the beyonds <laughs> that's so not canon it always blew me away that joseph is such a fucking died in the wool piece of shit that within about 10 seconds of being brought back to fucking life, he will troll his grandson. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Ah, oh, I'm alive! Like, oh, I'm yeah. kidding. Like, you, you, are, you were the man who like Kek, cheated Kek, and was like a fucking scumbag. But also, like, Kekyoin, to his perspective, every one of your team is dead, yeah. Joseph. Yeah. Oh, they just called him Jean-Pierre. I guess because Polnareff might be a, a, a name that's uh, taken. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. And it's like, again, jo Joseph, you old fucking scumbag, infidelity, you piece of shit. Thank God you cheated because Josuke's the best. Yeah, but like... <laughs> Good job, like, knocking up that hussy. <laughs> That's horrible that you would say such a thing. Uh, Kakuyoin was like, I don't like him because he made me a villain. And I owe you my life. <gasps> Spoo! Yeah! Oh. Oh. oh, why would you do this? This is gonna get weird. The eternal narrator, Speedwagon, yeah. is, is the best. Even he's afraid. So, I always love that line, but then when I, if somebody told me to read that panel more carefully, and I discovered that it's not a thought bubble. And it's not a narration bubble. It's a speech it's bubble. It's a speech bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is saying even no, spe speedwagon, speedwagon is, is saying, saying even, even speedwagon, speedwagon is afraid. Is afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs>
I ha I think I have a new favorite panel though, by far. Yeah. This is well, and that's... hopefully, hopefully, we'll get to it. Well, that's rough. <laughs> so, how does your partner like work? Is he, he like he just fights you? Yeah, he fights on his own. Well, amazing. <laughs> Holy shit! There, there they are. What an amazing stand battle! You can do it, Jotaro. You can beat up this adorable boss and terrier. So funny, Valentine, uh, says. Oh my god! Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh. oh Yeah. Oh dude, there you go. <laughs> oh and it follows them down! <laughs> oh, it's awesome! That's good. His whole character is like utterly defined when Cars is being blasted out in the fucking space. He's like, did you plan this? Like I totally planned this. <laughs> I 100 percent planned it. Fuck you. Top to bottom. It's like, and then he's, he's like, yeah, no, I didn't plan nothing. Whatever. It'll piss you off when you're floating in space becoming a rock. And they, they homage that in Steel Ball Run, too. There's another guy that get, like gets sent to the bottom of the ocean. And gets stuck there? Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to wait for them to come get me. And it's like, oh, yeah? Really? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got? What do you got? Speed wagon. Oh. I love you, Joseph. Can you be my grandpa? So the holy corpse will have speed wagon. Yeah. So if I, speed wagon gets the the corpse, he is able to travel through fucking time. Don't forget, please. Don't tell me you forgot, because that would be stupid and lame. Oh. Yeah. This reminds me of when you were telling me, um. Uh, I was asking you, like, how strong Athena is in King of Fighters. Mm -hmm. And you told me, God walking around on Earth, power level. Bored. And, and it's, uh, yeah. And it's like, okay, if we can completely recombine Jesus' corpse, we can, we can do <laughs> we can anything. Do yeah. The only way to defeat this bad guy is to resurrect the Son of God. <laughs> How'd he turn the water into wine? He used the world. <laughs> he used his stand. To switch him out. Yeah, yeah. Fa the Father, the Son, and the stand. I, I, man, turning turning religion into anime is my favorite. It's thing. pretty it's good. so good. It's pretty good. In this parallel universe, black people don't exist. Therefore, I'm golden. <laughs> Uh, uh, said Wooly. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Okay. Yeah. See, that was the intended joke, and then I realized you were laughing too hard, and then I realized how it came off, and was like, oh. You did the speech bubble, but you didn't point where the arrow was Yeah, yeah, from. yeah, it's, who, who does the speech bubble belong to? Kids, draw the line. <laughs> oh, these are extra battles. Revenge battles. You can fight enemies you've already defeated. Okay, and you get experience points for yeah, doing okay. that. Yeah, okay. Right. Alright, so this is some grinding shit. So there yeah. might be- there might so be- So this is- This is what Wooly does off camera. This is To the make the character stronger work. But I think that the Josuke they used is the Josuke from the game. I- th I think it is, if not- if not kinda close to it. But I might be wrong on that. And now I guess that just straight up leads us into- Phantom Blood, I assume. Starting with the okay, you can now yeah free metal just play Dio. So you start with the popular part three, and, and then, then, you, then yeah, you walk yeah. Into... Let's continue to the next battle, 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 battle. Because if they walk into Phantom Blood, that'll be so fucking backwards. But sure, they walk into part eight, like a but like like Dio on the rugby field, going, "What the fuck are these giant men doing here?" <laughs> Why? You know? What is up with- Oh, okay. okay. Fuck chronological order. Just all over the place. Three to five. That's golden win, part five. The most important and noble goal of a JoJo protagonist. Becoming a gangland star? Gang star. A gang star. Don't, don't make it cooler than it is. Spoilers. Polnareff comes back. Cool. And he's in a wheelchair. Because he got his shit fucked up really bad. <laughs> You know what I like about, uh, uh, getting spoiled on JoJo? Mm -hmm. Being spoiled on things like... There's a... 
there's a stand that if someone sees your back, you die. Or mm -hmm. there's a stand that makes everyone within a mile fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Like, that tells you a cool thing, but it tells you almost nothing about how it's going to be involved in the plot. Even, it's, even like, I remember reading up, like, everything that uh, the radio tower could do. Like, every single thing yeah, that okay. is involved in Traveling that, it, on the bolts and all of that. Yeah, yeah. every yeah, single thing that's involved in that battle, and was so still, like, riveted like page to page when I got there. Because... <laughs> It's so creative and so many yeah, different it, combinations yeah. of people interacting the with other people. The circumstance is what makes it interesting, exactly. Knowing what uh, Funny Valentine's Stand does, knowing what D4C is all about, doesn't fucking matter. Because Dirty Deeds Done, che done Dirt Cheap, in context, is where the importance is. Who are these is. losers? I noticed the moon is pre- Whoa! Oh, not on Cena. Not on Sia, excuse me. It's his little bomber. It's not little bomber, it's, it's fucking Aerosmith. It's his little bomber. <laughs> it's, it's Aerosmith. Yeah, so, unfortunately, these are part five jobbers. Jobbers, jobbers, jobbers. Jobbers. Yes. If you really want to get down yes. to it. Look at my chest. Look at it. Do you see my boy chest? There's not a single hair on it. I, I want Phantom Blood to be last. On the on the whirlwind tour before you know and ke collecting your JoJo's like Pokemon. Yeah, and I want jo jo I want Jonathan to absolutely freak his shit <laughs> <laughs> when his entire future family law like you all came from my balls. No, but no, not over that. It's like you're. St Still fighting Dio? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. St like, like you, because you just give up, right? Because they're gonna show up, like, as he is dying after defeating Dio for the last time, and he'll be like, I will sacrifice myself to kill Dio, and he's hugging his head, right? And then they show up, he's like, okay, Dio's a problem, like, a hundred years in the future. And he's, and he's looking down at Dio's <laughs> fucking head. <laughs> oh. That's little does he know that he's inside of it. Right now? Maybe? The only reason why the turtle would be here at this station... Actually, no. They were using it to transport each other. He wasn't inside of it yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking what? <sighs> See? It's spoilers, but it means nothing. <laughs> he never talks Wow, to look at that bulge! Yeah. Some of it's peeking out! It, it really is. We're getting some side... Ball cleavage. And tons of ass, too. Well, Dio needs quick access. Yeah. He could do worse. For yeah. For sure, yeah. And he levels up when he went Poochie. <laughs> Dude, straight up. <laughs> when Poochie shows up, like, they're like, yo, we're just gonna hang out in bed all day <laughs> and talk about the world that I'm going to create. And stands and stuff. You down and Poochie's like I'm so down. Uh, I I am I am I knew that I was always gonna have this problem, but I'm completely unable to mentally separate Enrico Poochie from Poochie the dog. <laughs> uh, it's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, eight page punch fest, dude. It goes on for so long. Yeah. I undersold it on the podcast talking about it. Yeah. It's fucking eight pages, man. It's like, no, he's punching, he's punching. <laughs> this guy deserves it. How much did you punch him? Did you punch him a lot? But as we saw earlier, Polnar, Avdol and Iggy are super alive. But we saw their ghosts. And you know that anyone that you see their ghost, that means they're dead for real, real. We saw Joseph's ghosts too, remember? Joseph's ghost dies after Dio sucks his blood. And he, like, gives, like, Jotaro, like, a thumbs up. God damn it. That's a trope that Araki cannot let go. But then he fucking red herrings you. It's like your ghost went to heaven, and then you put Dio's blood in Joseph, and he just, like, rips him back down. He just comes back, and he's like, oh, yeah. It's like, what was that with the ghost? He's like, what are you talking about? Oh, no, man. You just made it up in your head, idiot. I didn't tell you shit. I'm trying to say that if you wanted to, Jesus could have crushed Mad Puss. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, Mary Magdalene was always like, yo, Jesus, crush this shit. And he's like, nah. I bet no one can crush it like you. <laughs> he's like, nah, LOL. <laughs> I'm gonna go build tables. <laughs> <laughs>
I like the idea of Jesus, like Mary Magdalene's, like literally looking through the window and like rubbing her puss on the fucking window, and he's just like, "It's to build my cabinets." God damn it! Uh, add on missions. This cabinet needs to be done by tomorrow. Ask Metatron. Metatron, what do I do? I don't know, man. Sometimes you just gotta fuck that pussy. I ain't gonna tell you not to do that. Hey, shit. man. I, I talked to your dad, and your dad was like, hey, what is it? I was like, you sure? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> build your table, son. Yeah. <laughs> you want some weird shit, and I'm never, ever gonna get over this. It's probably the weirdest thing is the head is only found when a pure like like a virgin basically approaches the rest of the corpse yeah and then she gets impregnated <laughs> magically like 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 an immaculate conception type shit yeah but she's pregnant with just the head <laughs> she gives birth to a head she has the head in her stomach it is horrifying. <laughs> Is her name Mae Young? It is fucking nightmare fuel, dude. <laughs> and you see the imprint of where the baby would kick, except it's a face. <laughs> I have one question for you, Gio. Are those holes big enough for a sausage? Or three? Yes. That is the joke I'm making. Sometimes I like to carry around sausages in my face holes in order to eat them later. Let me show you what Passione does behind closed doors. <laughs> yeah, fix it, Giorno. It's not delivery. That's terrible. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm shocked you responded in any way. Shocked. They fight Notorious B.I.G., mm -hmm. who is a stand that only activates when the user is killed. <laughs> so that whole discussion we had about, like, um, uh, Anubis and stuff? Yeah. It's like they have an explicit dude who comes running at them. Like, they're getting on a plane, and he comes running at them, and they're like, what's this guy's deal? He's clearly a stand user. Some guy's running at them on the airstrip as the plane's taking off, and they're like, what do we do? What's your deal? Like, I, I, uh, you know, and like, you're, and it's just some weird fatty. And they're like, uh, <laughs> fuck it, kill him, you know? And they're like, okay. <laughs> and they just kill him. And they're like, I, what was that? I don't know. All right, we're good. We're good. We just fight avoided, you know? <laughs> okay, so we're back. Let's continue. Uh, I've done a little huging. You got huge? A little bit. Jojo huge, at, at, at least. As huge as you can Jojo. Jojos actually, like, lose muscle mass as they gain power. Eh, yeah, and especially when you're talking about these, like, passione little, little Twinkie guys kind of here, but, uh... Like, I could punch out fucking this JoJo. But, um, so yeah, what, what I've been doing is, uh, building up the ability tree and the trust levels and so on. <laughs> so everyone's Wait, gotten... back up! Why does it say your total playtime is 103 hours? Uh, you left it on overnight. Must have left it okay, on. Okay, because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I must have left it on at this point. Remember when we said I said Fugo is a shit? Yeah. The truth is that Fugo was written out of the story for being too OP. Oh, yeah. Because his stand was basically, you get a disease that kills you in thirty in about 30 seconds or so. Yeah. If you get near him, but he can't control who gets it. So it was the most no, OP yeah, ridiculous thing actually. that just murders anybody no matter what. And they're like, all right. Well, Araki's like, yeah, get this guy out of the story. Hey, you can't break these diamonds. I think the absolute best out of context JoJo panel is Kira naked in the bathtub with the kid, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. looking threatening. Yeah. And like, oh, what? Ha like, and it's just like, what is this fucking thing? <laughs> hey, we hey, the boys. Losers. Pre haircut too. It's weird. That, no, it's not his voice. It's not his voice. Yeah, I, I'm, I was, no. uh, and he's drawn a little differently, or his model's a little, a little different. Okuyasu might be like the most baffling bad guy, good guy turnaround ever. Where he goes from, I'm going to kill all of, like he goes from, um, hitting, yeah, he, go, he goes from like. Kicking Koichi in the head over and over in a doorway while Koichi's dying from a chest wound 
to, yeah, let's be yeah, buddies. Like, oh, I'm a good guy. Yeah. Like, well, because it's like, oh, hey, you're actually a good person, and my brother is always a sh kind of a shit, yeah. and my dad really was just a mutant that needed fixing. So, you know, I'm not really a bad guy. I, Worst company. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Worst, <laughs> Worst the company. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Nah, son. He's doing the thing that we like. I saw the panel with Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah! Didn't they tell you? He looks oh, awesome. He's so fucking cool! Oh, oh man, almost enough to convince me to get back in. <laughs> it's like Naruto. Holy church is not Naruto! <laughs> Your salvation is not anime! <laughs> Uh, no, man, it's it's all good. It's like every every week is a new chapter comes out, you know. We're into the Paul arc, and you just you get you sometimes you got to tap out because it gets predictable and the writing sucks. But then you get back in. List of things that can control their stands better than Holly Cujo: a rat, a radio control tower, a fly, a monkey, like. She is horrible and shit at what at, at fucking being a stand user. She has no fighting spirit. Fuck you, Shijechi. Chariot Requiem uh, is alive because Polnareff's pretty much almost dead at the time. Yeah. And so he's Chariot Requiem's on its own. It not only puts everyone to sleep, it switches their minds with other people's bodies. <laughs> Who whoever, whatever living organism is nearest to you swaps into your mind and you swap into its. And then as time goes on, you slowly become stands on your own, inside the other person's body. Also, it can make your own stand attack you. <laughs> just to clear- just to- just to clear the air. <laughs> just to clear the air. Nothing can do anything! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a big problem at the end of part five. <laughs> It's a huge deal. Can he do that on purpose? He, there, it has its own will. Oh, no. Chariot Requiem has its own will. And it just starts walking in a straight line, <laughs> fucking up the entire city of Rome. And there's very little anyone can do about it. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really good. <laughs> like, bad guys, good guys. It's like, it's all yeah. going bad. Yeah, yeah. Dude, there are stands that are that, there are stands that don't get defeated. <laughs> they run away from them because they're too strong. And then the problem kind of just solves itself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like there's literally a stand where it's like we're just gonna leave that over there, and hopefully it never moves. And that's it. <laughs> It's like, it's like, it, there's no like, oh, retired at the end of the chapter. It's like, no, we escaped, we got away. Oh, man, I can't. <laughs> Fuck, man. Did you know that if you disappear for a while and show back up and re-enter the story, your name is now in all caps? Yeah. And it means you're better? I did. I did, though. <laughs> Pat! Pat! <laughs> <laughs> man, Pat's been sick for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Big dramatic di yeah. dynamic entry. I Who is it? It's Pat! Are we gonna get a stage inside of it? Because that'd be great. That'd be super weird. <laughs> Wouldn't Polnareff not like that? Ah, uh, I think Coco Jumbo is just the turtle right now. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's Coco Jumbo. That's, the, that's, that's that's cracking me up. The turtle's name is Coco Jumbo. President Coco Jumbo? No, Mr. President is the name of its stand. <laughs> <laughs> You're running around picking up pieces of Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck? Go back on that screen, please. Okay. Go all the way to the bottom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like the one girl, okay. the one girl okay. on the team is like, you know what? And it's softer. You know what? No, you get no contact. Yeah, nothing, huh? You get nothing. I made it softer. Yeah, I don't know, but for some reason, the protagonist of JoJo Leon has four testicles, and they make a huge deal out of it at all times. Oh, that's probably a repeat battle. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, no. They really bring it up all the time. 
and they create circumstances in which <laughs> people find out through various ways. Like his pants is always falling down or like shit happens where people are like, what? <laughs> At least it's happened twice so far. I don't know if it keeps happening, but it's, a, it's his other stand. How is there no Suge Knight stand? Apparently Suge Knight tried to kill Eminem. That's going around. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. I didn't hear he, that one. He at some point had a hit out on him. What the fuck? Which, okay. considering I'm hearing that Suge Knight is also somewhat responsible for Tupac's death. Yeah. And he ran over those people. Enabling. <laughs> he, he, he's not responsible for it, but he did enable it. Um, Suge Knight. Getting it, getting it done out there, I suppose. Well, not anymore. But, like, he's like, no, I only ran over those people because I had a heart condition, though. I was really, really... Uh, he's recovering from being shot. Jail's gonna be pretty rough for you with that heart condition, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, talking to these people doesn't really seem to give us much. Like, really, Shug? Yeah. Th that's what you're going with? <laughs> yeah! He was scared from the last time he got shot, and he didn't want to get shot again. So... we ran over that guy! Sir, so are you using your prior bad axe as... as... Explanation of your current bad acts on the set of the movie that's about your bad acts. <laughs> anyway, sir, is it true that you had just filmed a scene in which you ran over a guy, and then when questioned by the police, you said it was because of your heart condition? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, ah, uh, yeah, I can stop time and punch you. <gasps> yeah, but I. <laughs> Put a bomb in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm a perfect immortal being that can stand within the sunlight or whatever. Yeah, but I've got a wine glass. Oh my god, Jotaro versus this version of Dio is the fucking most disgusting. Dude, I like, don't I don't know. Stomp festival. I don't know what's gonna happen right now. Did you drive a truck? No, he doesn't. Oh, oh! Wait, what? Oh, they gave him the same voice! Of course. I really like Diego's outfit. Yeah. I think it looks fucking cool. The fact that he's got his name on his rider's helmet like, is... what an asshole. It's a really <laughs> fucking pompous... What a fucking you know? asshole. Just that last hit, thank you. <laughs> Wait. Simultaneous kill. But he's already... Oh, we we simultaneously did it. All right. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, video game. Hey. I'm so excited. The only stand that I'm 100% in the dark on is Dio over heaven. Or, what is? Yeah. Like me too. What can he possibly do that? These dudes are willing to work under him. And are they gonna? Give are they gonna do some crazy shit and give Jonathan a stand like they do in uh, in, in some of those novels? Jeez. And uh, uh, what you gonna call it? So the 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 beyonds, oh, I believe, boy. is uh, in, in that ridiculous non-canon book. Jonathan gets a stand, and it's it's something crazy. I don't remember what it is right now, but it's out of control. Zoom dick. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of automatic stands. Mm. Um. And to my knowledge, my favorite one so far is um, Killer Queen's uh, hand portion. It's the bomb. Um, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. No, no, not the, not the, not the, not the, not the, not the reflection. It's the, the no, not the, the reflection. The little car. The little car. The little car. Another one bites the dust. Okay, that's another one bites the dust. Because I'm pretty sure Killer Queen is that, and that's part of it. And then another one bites the dust is when he gets the fucking backwards time travel shit. Ooh, um, after I, I he gets might the be arrow. mixing it up. I might be mixing um, it. But there's definitely another name. But the little car. Yeah. Because he's sitting across town having coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going go like, I think someone's fighting my stand or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also because it's really dumb. It's a really dumb stand that you can trick. You yeah. Know? Like he's like, oh, nothing. He says a line like, like it, nothing can stop it from, from like completing its mission. And then Echoes just stops it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like the idea, the idea of sitting somewhere, it's like I think I'm having a stand battle right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sip. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's goofy shit. It's it's the same thing with another one bites the dust later, where uh, once uh, once you know people are blowing up all over. 
Mm-hmm. And he sees the kid having a fucking nervous meltdown. It's like, oh, have I just killed a bunch of people in time loops or whatever? That's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I did it. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Wow. Wow, this thing is super easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just wants a comfortable life, man. You know? Show me the Kira did nothing wrong stickers. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off with that. Jo- uh, uh, Jotaro's like, y- uh, you can't bring people back to life once they're dead. Says the guy who bled vampire blood into his grandfather and brought him back to life. Well, not with stands or whatever. Also, don't think about the part that's gonna happen a little bit later from now when Dio's kid totally bring someone back to life from the brink of death. Don't worry well, about no, it. Well, no, there's a difference from the brink of death and dead. He he reanimates Bruno and has him walking around in a corpse, but he's not a zombie. Yeah. He just doesn't bleed. Yeah, so also like, for real though, the, 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 jo- uh, the Jotaro one is way dumber because he gets, he sees Joseph's fucking ghost fly off into space. Yes! <laughs> yes! And Polnareff's, Polnareff's floating out there too. Yeah. And that, and like, he actually manages to like, kind of pull him back in a way. It gets stupid. The point is, Jonah- You can't bring back people to life unless you can. <laughs> Josuke was fucking lied to. Your, your fucking grandpa sucks. And he doesn't deserve to come back to life because he's a bit character, and he scared you with his fake gun, and he has to die because the villains fuck him. Yeah, no, it's like seize Joseph's ghost, go to heaven, and leave his body, and give him a thumbs up, and be like, you can do it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Joseph comes back, and they don't talk about it. <laughs> How do they not uh, uh, talk uh, about uh, it? Uh, uh. Hey, Grandpa, did you? Did you wave at me when I saw your fucking ghosts? <laughs> Before you comment on my total playtime, I knew it, I knew you were gonna like beat me to it. Like the, as soon as we talked about it before this, it turns out that when you put the rest mode PS4 mode on, it keeps the clock going. So that would explain that. I didn't sit here for another hundred and sixty-eight hours since last time. And keep grinding. No, you did, motherfucker. Well, t- what I did do was I bought some more abilities with our points, and I bought some of those uh, dual heat attacks. Well, I, actually, my favorite part is, like, thinking about it now, it's like, if with that being the case, I'm sure there were people that saw, like, he grinded for 100 hours, and he only gained, like, 48 levels. What the fuck? That's some lackadaisical fucking grinding. Yeah. Somebody made a YouTube video of, like, Jotaro telling uh, Josuke not to not to save his uncle because it's pointless <laughs> and then it does like a fucking benny hill style like flashback cut yeah of like the shit happening and there and there's also twitter comments of some guy like hey josuke i also fought a stand made entirely out of water i'm right. actually super good at this yeah. and could solve this easily and all sorts of stupid shit <laughs> The entire interesting thing, though, about Battle Tendency is that, uh, like, it's a threat unlike any other in any other part that not everyone could deal with. Dealing with Pillarmen is a fucking S- uh, like completely nine, different... Like, n- 99% of stand users would lose to the <laughs> Pillarmen. Right? It's not at all the same game. Because, like, uh, stands that are super strong against human beings, and I, I think of, like, Highway Star... Mm-hmm. As, as like, mm-hmm. the first example, like, bordering on nigh invincibility, like, wouldn't be able to kill yeah. any of them, and if they hit the stand hard enough, the user would just die. If Highway Star existed <laughs> in, like, a time when you only had horses, that already makes it, oh, like, yeah. you're just not gonna win. Oh, yeah. Like, whole, think of how God fucking tier whole horse would have been in the year 90. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo! Hey. What's up, mommy? Yeah, that was a weird moment. Mommy that's way hotter than, like, the girl you end up with and, like, everyone else. 
Suzy Q's all right. Give me a but... second. Give me it like. Suzy Q's all right, but come on, dude. Lisa Lisa fucking kills it. Josuke's mom is the only competitor. Yeah. Oh shit! Like, despite being an objectively better fighter than yes. JoJo in every way, yeah. loses to cars in like two seconds because she doesn't lie hard enough. <laughs> And so just, what what should happen is your boom and then the fight's over. Basically, <laughs> one would hope. This scarf is knitted with the boom. <laughs> there is so much going on with what's yeah. happening right now, and it it it, it is. It is like the single most bizarre thing about JoJo. And it makes me think that like Araki is like a secret like Hitler sympathizer or whatever. Stroheim shouldn't need to be controlled by the evil force. <laughs> uh he, no, is, but he is a murderous Nazi bastard. But he helps beat the bad guy, so he ends up on the side of good. What, like, that that weird undercurrent? In the battle where, between humans and pillar men. Where, where like, uh, uh, uh <laughs> where underneath the plot, yeah. everyone, it feels like Eriki, like, forgot the part that Stroheim, like, sacrificed, like, hundreds of people. For fun and profit. And all that matters is where the story ends, and at the end, you're standing on the right side. Ah, uh, Norio Wakamoto, you're the best. So what you're saying is that the Nazis stood on the right side of history? <laughs> Against the Pillar Men! <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Against the Pillar oh, okay, Men! okay, Do you want to take a guess at what Cream Starter does? Uh, is that a lighter? Uh, no, it's a spray. It's a spray? Then no. It sprays flesh out of itself. That's... Oh man, you know what I love? You're okay, just rub more- what, what, you, you can go back and look at this, careful viewers, but when the camera pans back to Jotaro, his fucking chain just shoots off his body. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah. the physics are resetting. Exactly. Yeah. It's fucking stupid, I hate that bug. It's in everything! In everything! It's in everything! When you have- when you want the chains to react Well, because you suspend physics, properly. physics calculations! They T-pose, and then they go in from their T-pose into that. Yeah, within one frame, but the physics takes slightly longer to- to catch up. It's fine. It's like clipping, like his hair is clipping through his collar right now. Clip- clipping is, like, you, my most hated of all graphical errors. Who you never get to meet is this fucking schlub's dad. Ever. He's a musician. And he's not good for anything. He's good for Dick and Holly. Good old Cujo. Dick, good old Dick and Run Cujo. <laughs> I have to go on tour. Okay! Exactly. Or fucking whatever. Don't get choked up in some plants that are gonna kill you, bitch, later. Who's stupider? Polnareff or Joseph? At their dumbest moments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at their at, at Polnareff's dumbest moment, he gets like multiple people grievously injured and killed. That's there's that, <laughs> or or pig head sticking out to lick the asshole. Yeah. So I don't know. And and the difference with with Polnareff is that everyone's like Polnareff, fucking stop, God, fucking stop it! <laughs> yeah. You're so stupid. He's like, but my D D D O my sister. Uh. Um, I'm gonna say Polnareff. Yeah, Polnareff's dumber. Yeah. Speaking of, there you go. Oh shit! I know that voice. Isi disi. I'm gonna cry. Show me your nasty veins. My hat is weird. Also, it's always a fun. Okay. Oh, well, wait. Okay, wait a second. Hold up. Some guy told me about whatever. That's this weird is... that he's he's purple here. This fight is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> this is a this cannot be won. Oh! Everybody fucked. 
Everybody get fucked. See, I really don't like uh, Wham's coloring here, but I love Cars's. That's actually really nice. Back when he was holding his beauty back? Yeah. Look at that! Instinctively, they see the best place to pose. Like, a secret pillar man ability is to, like, identify the, the entire scene for the best, most epic place to yeah. stand. Him looking at them in that intro, you know how high up on the mountain they are? They're pretty high up. Hey, hey guys, there's a man over and there. And the moon is right okay. over there. The moon's okay. right there. Okay, Joe, Joe's gonna come. To, and we're gonna, be on the, we're gonna be on the thing. We're gonna be... It's gonna be so cool. Everybody ready? Ready? Okay. Ay, 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 ay! Look at these fucking chads! These are the ultimate Oh my chads. god! This is the pillar of chadness, right? <laughs> the chad men. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make them a little oranger and you're done. Blonde up the hair a little bit. Well, not Wham. Wham's already No, he's already there, yeah. Luscious blonde locks. Did he just he make said, the noise? No, he said grin. I saw somebody say something the other day, and it made me want to shoot my own fucking dick off, and it was, <laughs> how nuts is it the GT is a better follow-up than fucking Super? Uh, and we're there now. We're there now. Is it that bad? It's pretty fucking bad. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. GT's more consistent. Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah, if you hit the number four, like, it's a huge problem for him. Because four is unlucky. It's not. It's unlucky, though. It's unlucky in Japan. These are British and Italians. They're super Italian. Four is unlucky. Uh, the fact I got a beef to pick with Japan. <laughs> hey, man, we have buildings that literally don't have a floor 13. No, here's my beef. You ready? Go. Four is too early in the sequence to be unlucky. But seven is not to be Well, that's lucky. positive, so that's fine. Oh, okay. But four? Oh, don't do- Like, four is so common! It's such a common number! I believe in China, like, there's- It's like three and a couple of other early numbers, actually. Shut up! Three! I, or something like One that. is an unlucky number! <laughs> oh, don't have one of anything! Your baby will die! Uh-oh. We made a policy against it. Fucking- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the darkest joke we've ever told. Let's see if any. What if Cars wasn't evil? I'm just looking at Jordan on like, is what if Dio wasn't evil? What if Cars wasn't evil? Then there'd be 36 of them on Mars. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. That was for someone. <laughs> sure wasn't for it wasn't me. for you? <laughs> yeah. All right. This is literally the exact same gambit again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that they do this over and over and it's in their luggage. <laughs> like, oh, it's the best. We've strapped a bomb to it and it's in a different cut. It's in my luggage. Genji just... Just... I don't even yeah. know. <laughs> just, um... Get get some wet naps and wipe your hands off. So, that would have solved the problem. Adam is a big, messy, thick, sticky thing. It just gets everywhere. Yeah, Adam. Huh? You gotta wipe that Adam off. Ugh. All up in your hands and shit. <sighs> Boy. You need to contain the Adam in a sock. Alright. So... Oh, boy. Sock thing is the most disgusting thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, everyone that ever did that fucking sock shit is a fucking subhuman animal. That is just the fucking worst. Old Joseph's really, uh, really taking over this part. Well, I mean... He had, you know what, he had years to think about it. Yeah. To agonize over it. Yeah, that's what you heard, huh? I never would have cheated on my wife if... No, that's not. <laughs> like, if I he would have been if like, I did it. No, he, he no, it's like, all their fault. He would have, like look how awesome my grandson turned out. I should have cheated way more. <laughs> that's exactly what it would have thought. Shut up, you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> it's their it's their fault. They made me do it. See how hot could, they were. I couldn't get over. They were like, oh yeah, old guy, you still pregnant this up. She agreed to roleplay Caesar. Oh, and that's why Jesus I, Christ. It's fucking... That's why I let it... Like, I can't wait for them to get to, like, 
Dio over heaven or whatever, and like the last dude he summons in is fucking Jonathan's dog in the oven. <laughs> just, oh. just with the glowing energy of evil oh, on it. Oh no. Oh boy. That's never forget the original oh, sin. Dio's more of a cat person. Actually, he's more of a bird person. Yeah, way more of a bird person. It's a very good pet for him. Like, noble and, and loner and all that shit. Yo, did that thing just eat, like, five dogs? Fucking sick, I hate dogs. Put this helmet on, you're coming with me. It's got no. a sick feather on it. I like to think that Pet Shop already totally had, had that. that helmet already. <laughs> And Dio didn't know that it had a stand and picked it based on that. So, uh, speaking of the lyrics of Chase, man, this this LP may be the most fucking rambling fucking nonsense ever. It's the JoJo Trivia Podcast where half the facts are wrong. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. Enjoy annotating this episode, idiot. <laughs> oh, man, I wanna... I'd rather... I'd rather fucking play that game. <laughs> What's the conversation like inside the turtle? So, uh, you're from Italy too, huh? Yep. Yep. Um, so, uh, my dad's Dio. Jesus invented the bone arrow. Done. Makes sense. Like, oh, end of story. Oh, I like where we're going. That Is that a rocket ship? That's a rocket ship! Alright, I know where we're going. We're going to the Kennedy Center in, in Japan. Japan! Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cape Canaveral, Osaka. <laughs> Cape Canaveral of the Kansai region. You know the one. That's where all those weird new Pokemans are coming from, right? <laughs> this is mean. This is the most cooperation you'll ever see out of them. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do they, do they like, act in total isolation from one another in, in Stone Ocean? Well, for one thing, he's in incapacitated for a whole bunch of it. Yeah. But even when he's not, like... They're yeah, because really... you, you described it as Poochie going, okay, my plan's important. Jotaro, d done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on with the rest You're, of my right. plan. Rip Star Platinum the fuck out of your body. Yeah, step one of the plan. If that fails, the rest of the plan doesn't matter. Right. What if Jotaro's dad was home all the time? <laughs> right. <laughs> Instead of leaving and not being a strong father figure for him. I like, I like the idea that Jolene's thinking that maybe she can, like, get in with dad... Now that he's not obsessed with the dolphins. Because once the dolphins come in... No, just being a good daddy. Oh, okay. Just being a good daddy. Oh, okay. Because, you know, when now and then he's like, Nah, bitch, Shamu. Yare, yare, does it. He can turn it off. Because he's that fucking cold. Okay, whatever, we have a... Uh, fuck, oh, I knocked up some chick... Yeah, I got okay, sure. Yeah. I believe it. Why not? <laughs> right? Which one of those flocking cheerleader girls that won't leave me alone did I stick it in? The dumpy one. Oh. Makes sense. That one didn't care about me. <laughs> That's what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I accidentally got a little too bit on point with that. <laughs> Like, you know that, you know that frumpy girl that's like, uh, Jotaro's such a piece of shit. Jotaro's like, yeah, That's the one. That's the one. No way. Oh, fuck. Everybody run! Is that weather report? Everybody run, it's over! I might, I think that me, that rainbow? Hmm. Yep. Damn straight. Okay, I was right. Heavy weather's coming. Everybody's fucked. <laughs> like, take that turtle yeah. and throw it as hard as you can out of here right now. Uh, Basically, he's got beef against Poochie Hard, but also against the KKK. Um, because... Yeah, I could buy that. There's an interracial relationship that goes real south. And, uh, it's one of those shitty, um... You get one of those, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet yeah, type yeah, situations. Yeah, yeah. Well, with the KKK. And the girlfriend comes back, not knowing that he thinks she's dead, and then he kind of is not dead, but then she she kills herself because she's afraid to, you know, one of those shitty things. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I woke up and I thought, you all oh, no. Very Romeo and Juliet. Very, ro ex ex literal Romeo and Juliet. 
And um, after that, he's like, oh, fucking Poochie, you made her kill herself, and I'm gonna get you. Darn you, Poochie. You gotta go back to your home planet. Oh my god. Of course. J just... Of course. Just... Alright. The fa He's got space stuff, and he floats up into the sky like Poochie. I mean, at a, at a certain point, he does, I guess. Like, I'm very disappointed in in the lack of Poochie as Poochie art that I've seen. That being said, in two or three, you know, three or four years, there will be many YouTube videos about, and then Poochie went back to his home soon, planet. Soon, when there's actual footage for yeah. people to use. In fact, I want the I want like a Duang style redub. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, yes. So you know, it'd be fucking psycho if fucking funny Valentine came out instead. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Yes. Oh. Yes. Fucking snap. <laughs> Uh, Wait, does Josuke, I mean Jotaro, even know who or what that is? No! no! Yeah! No, they don't! Oh, you, so you got a dumb bird or whatever. Like, one of those things, one of those Twitter messages that was, um... And I got a different Jojolity. Uh, one of those Twitter messages of, like, Jotaro's Perfect. asshole is, like... So I can totally fly, but I'm never going to bring that up ever again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're super right, dude. Like, let's not, for, let's like, don't forget what's happening at the end of fucking let's, Stardust. Let's not, I'm never going to teach anyone else that, like, totally, like, like, generic stand ability, which is to push yourself off the ground using your stand and to, to, to soften your landing using your stand. And then just stand. keep it going, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like... That would be fucking so godlike in Moroyo. In so many, think think of the difference between the fight with Highway Star. If Josuke knew how to kick off the ground and fucking fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are they implying that like Dio over Heaven Stand is like a way way stronger version of Funny Valentine's, in which mm. he can pick a piece of a reality and say, "No, it's this now." Like, he can, like, literally, like, imagine their pages, and he can, like, cut out, a, like, this article and slap it onto this reality, and, like, now that's how things are here. Heaven's door for the world? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> like... It is called Heaven's Door. Yeah. And it's over... Okay. Maybe I, it's... Because that's I'm, super <clears throat> nuts! Because I'm assuming Heaven's Door is is going to be, um... Right, I'm assuming over, like, Made in Heaven. Shit. Over Heaven. Fuck! You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, tr I'm assuming that there's a tie-in with the stand that Poochie eventually gets. Yes. But maybe there's a tie-in with, with, the, with the, the ability to overwrite reality like yeah. Rohan does, but not on a personal level, Cause, cause but Rohan, on a fucking global Ro scale. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that'd be a problem. Here's the reality in which you have no legs. Here's, you know, here's the reality in which stands don't exist, and now that's the canon reality for all of you, but not for me. Hmm, says here in this page that all the JoJo's are gonna team up, and yeah, let's just rip that out. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. Alright. Okay. It's, if it, if it's like, it's not a powered up version of Dio stand. It's not a powered up version of Poochie stand. It's a powered up version of Rohan stand, 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 where it's global instead of personal. Everybody That'd be fucked. so <laughs> broken! This is super interesting. Yeah. You're younger than your daughter right now. Hot? No. No. Also, she's super not his type. No. What is Jotaro's type? A normal girl that won't obsess over him. Normal. The one that won't hang on. Normal. Super plain. Yeah, I don't even yeah. like Jotaro. Basically. <laughs> I, w I just want a fucking baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only one man's got gloves with that level of fashion. Is that funny Valentine? That's funny fucking Valentine. Japan has multiple industries devoted to someone's gonna buy this. Yep. Some obsessed person. Oh, there you go. Is gonna buy this. 
no matter how expensive we make it, that anime is called anime. That anime, yep. it's called industry. We made four. Would you like this Blu-ray? Only the rich man may have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Got I saw a fantastic comment. What if he teamed up with um, with uh, fucking what's his name? Uh, uh, Whole Horse. What if Mister teamed up with Whole Horse? Uh -huh. Is that the comment? No. Okay. It was. Me. They'd be kicking it, their it, bullets it, around, it, and it'd be it amazing. Was, it was me talking about how Whole Horse would just wreck ass in like year three hundred. Okay. Because like a gun versus knights and shit that can move anywhere and it's invisible. That'd be amazing. And I was. It was a comment pointing out. It's like if Whole Horse had been born in the year three hundred. There's no way his stand would have manifested as a gun. Yeah, that's true. Because guns don't exist. Yeah, his brain wouldn't have told him to, to make it that. <laughs> yeah. He would have made it like a, a, a so, an a bow and arrow or a sword or and something. And it would other. be objectively shittier. Yeah, yeah. Please don't be so obsessed with saving the world that we can't get a couple of nice moments. No. Remember who his family is. Okay. Jotaro is a robot. <laughs> okay. Joseph is an old asshole. Yeah. Josuke. The reasons why we loved him yeah. as a kid yeah. are the reasons why we hate him as an adult uh, because he's a cheating piece of shit. Okay. Josuke has family problems. Yep. And why would he give a fuck about his Joestar great great grandfather? He secretly gives a fuck. Because remember his dad. He yeah, but no, cane. he's so far fucking removed at that point. Yeah. Giorno is like, my dad is your enemy. <laughs> I'm bar I barely even know what I am. The only reason I'm a weird hybrid sperm. The only reason I'm even technically related to you it's because my dad used your great grandpa's dick to fuck my mom. <laughs> so he's looking straight at Joseph's dick like I came out of that. No, wrong dick, Jonathan. Sorry, he came. Dick. He's looking at Jonathan's dick like I came out of that. Are you my daddy? But you're not my daddy. What does this mean? And Jolene's like, you guys are losers. She's she fucking like, <laughs> I, 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 uh, what should we call it? There's one point in in part six where, like, a bunch of people are watching uh, the Sixth Sense. And she's like, oh, hey, yeah, this movie, Bruce Willis is fucking dead the whole time. <laughs> Eat shit, fuckers. <laughs> and just walks by, and everyone's like, oh, the Jolene. <laughs> Jolene's a fucking spoiler <laughs> troll. <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. That's the best. Fuck those criminals. That's the fucking best thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want the canon explanation to be that he is actually styling his hair in the shape of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he's been wearing a visor the whole time. Like, I think like, someone made that panel joke somewhere. Yeah. I think someone had a thing where he pulls like, off the front. The gold, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a visor. And then the, the rest of it is yeah. all just super hairsprayed hair. Yeah. See, if Darby was smart, he'd be like, no. It's right, it's right. Oh! Ah. Oh, he has nothing to do with the plot at all! But he knows about the eyes of heaven! Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's way wait, better! Wait, what? How does that work? How would you know who she is? What's going on? No, Dio filled him in on everything. And he came here of his own volition. Dio didn't even send him. No, because Dio just keeps him around. Okay. Like, whenever, yeah. whenever I need a guy to gamble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he, he he gave him the deal. And, and he just left, and he went to Maroyo. Do, with, like, do what you will with this info. Yeah! Jotaro cheating activated! Go, Jotaro! Go, cheat! Cheating success! Cheating effects now active. Now, ch oh... Pick cards to, sele to change. Uh, so select, select the cards you want to get rid of. Select everything but but the ace. And now exchange. And it's going to give you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and his demeanor changes! Mm -hmm. This is this is above and beyond. I can't, wow, I can't believe they built this whole system. That's fucking awesome. This is way above and beyond. This is amazing. I hope I can play now this Now remember, you time. can only cheat a, a, one more time. Yeah. Garbage! <laughs> Give me back my daughter. Darby loses. Yeah, 
Ah, I did it. Yes! I saved that daughter that I don't give a fuck about. Boy, don't I give a fuck about. <laughs> it's just like Taken. I was on it for the adventure and the killing. Boy, I sure love that killing. <laughs> oh, really? Really? What are we- are we gonna get fucking Darby Requiem now? <laughs> so here's my question. Does the chair go with him? And if not, <laughs> when he finishes teleporting, does he immediately fall down? Or does he appear in a horse stance? Or does he appear in a different chair? <laughs> My legs don't work! Yeah, that's that's a cool thing too. Like, he does the big final attack, and it just doesn't fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's having these two next to each other really, like, demonstrates the change in Eriki's art style. There's Kenshiro. Yes, and there's and a there's dude And there's lithe you... fashion body model that everyone wants to have sex with. But he can't walk. Yeah. And you've never seen anything like it before. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bright green. Yeah. <laughs> like... My <laughs> lipstick on everybody. Yeah. My main character has to fucking crawl around. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, uh Gyro's probably the weirdest one that I'm familiar with. Jiro looks weird, but he, he looks so fucking cool. Yeah, sure, but like cowboy hat with purple lips. He's got grills in the fucking 1800s, bro. Or 1900s, man. No, 1890. 1890, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's got fucking grills on his teeth that say, Go, go, Zeppeli. Like, he comes from this super traditional Italian castle family that's so uptight about everything. And the moment he lands here, he just fucking pimps out. It's amazing. Pimp out to the max. It's amazing. It couldn't be more different than, uh, than Will uh, Zeppeli. Well, because he's not supposed to be Will. He's supposed to be, uh, Caesar. Supposed to be Caesar? Yeah. That's Johnny. Yeah. At the end of you think it's Will, but then at the end he re they reveal secrets to each other. They yeah. go uh, like, "Tell me something about yourself no one else knows." And he goes, "My full name is Jiro Kaiser Zeppeli." What? That timeline make no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And then uh, Johnny fills him in on a, on a, a weird fetish that he has. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Uh, I forgot, oh god, what was it? Damn it, it's killing me right now. They get, they say it in their team up. So. I want, I want a girl to just pound on my useless legs with a hammer. <laughs> Stand power. Uh, what do you do? I turn people into dinosaurs. Technically zombie dinosaurs. That follow his orders? That do whatever I want them to do. Still, though. I'm gonna make I'm them. also a dinosaur. And I'm, I'm gonna, a really I'm good gonna, one. I'm gonna wait till 1934. No, not 19, 19, whatever, and make them fuck cars so that people have images of that for the future. There we go. Cars would be on board. He loves nature. No, like automobiles. Oh, cars, ve yeah. vehicles. Yes, yeah. okay. For I mean, dinosaurs having sex with cars. You have to clarify yeah, cars a, or cars. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Because cars that we know, he fuck, he, you know, he killed those dudes over that puppy. Yeah, and he, he knocked himself out I of the way. I don't even want to think. About what Pillar Man sex is like, considering anything can go into any part of their body at any Squeeze time. Squeeze it in. Hey, you want to try something new? Yeah, why not? Just jam it into my ribcage. It'll work. Yeah, it'll work. Kind of hurts, but I, I can get into it. Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. How do you think they figured out that whole wedding band thing? Wasn't their first rodeo. Yep. A, f a bunch of fucking, like, what's a Pillar Man gangbang look like? It looks like a big fucking blob of arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> that may be, oh boy, that's, and just shit, yep. and just jizz just shooting oh. out at <laughs> it, lo it, lo <laughs> it looks like inside, except just with occasional, occasional, like, okay, all right. All right. I noticed that that design is the same one on uh, Funny Valentine's. Uh, oh, that's love. what it was. Okay, sorry. No, jo Johnny's fetish is. Uh, yeah, you're looking at that. Yeah, up. yeah Johnny's yeah, fetish Johnny is seeing ah! insect bites on girls. Oh, shut up! He likes little bites and bumps. No what? No wonder his stand is about firing off his finger. Don't tell anybody. He's a creeper. Don't tell them. Fight these dinosaurs! <laughs> I thought he was gonna say. I thought he was gonna the say. World. It. Yeah, and, yeah. Cause you know it would be a great moment. Boom! 
and then, tick, 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 Dio walks out. That would be beyond <laughs> terrifying. But we already know what he looks like. The Dio gang. It's not going to be. It's no, a, but just another yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And I we, bet I bet Dio over heaven is like you cannot send more than two Dios out. Mm. <laughs> they fight between each other enough. It's like we figured out that we can trade stanzas at will amongst ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Pre prepare for dinosaur vampire time stop. <laughs> How many dinosaurs can attack you in the stop time? Did you see that ride to hell gif, by the way, of how, 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 how much water can you spray in the stop time? Oh god, yeah, 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 I did see that. That, that, is, that is my favorite of the stop time jokes ever. Here, you need to get a little bit more holy. <laughs> this is the best. You know what, you know what I want? You know what I want? I want to hear from somebody who didn't care that this had JoJo spoilers in it. Oh, right? And that, that's never even bothered Didn't at all? Didn't bother, started to watch it, and then I want to see, after all that we've said and all they've seen, yep. how much of it they could actually retain. Yep. yep. Because I bet it's n close to zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Because... Oh, man. If, like, like if, there if will, okay, there will be a quiz at the end. Of, that's great. Yeah. That's, where the, that's where the parts are in the background. Because, uh, like, Matt, like... <laughs> It's like, how long is this LP gonna be? Like eight hours total of footage? Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. Okay, so like, imagine listening to two people making up the stupidest story you ever heard for eight full hours. <laughs> Try and remember parts of that. Yeah. It sounds. Yeah. It's. You know what this sounds like? Like if you, if you don't know JoJo, what our conversation sounds like. It sounds like what you sound like when you try and explain to somebody what your nightmare was about. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a guy, and he had your face, but it wasn't your face, and then dinosaurs attacked me. You know? And then the vampire chased me around, and there was a big fire, and I couldn't tell, because we were in a different dimension. <laughs> right? And then this girl started spraying her body out onto people. I was in the body. You were in the body? Yeah. No, the body was a vampire. And then Jesus came to America, right? Oh yeah, yeah, he makes these jokes that do not translate into English at all. <laughs> and they become beyond, like, the war, they become the best because they're completely, um, like, you cannot understand They're impenetrable and nonsense. Completely impenetrable. Like, like, hey, Pat, I thought of a joke. Okay. All right? What's your joke? Okay, count to three. One, two, three. Get out of my way! <laughs> That's just... That's stupid! And then fucking Johnny just loses his shit. He just starts laughing, and he's like, it's amazing, I love it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So Johnny and Giorno have an actual fucking shot. He's straight up afraid of gold experience, is what he's saying. Well, gold experience is fucking... Yeah, it's a, no, it, it's a problem. Bullshit. It is a problem. If I remember correctly, it's not... Because uh, Diablo has consequences in all vacations where I shoot you with a gun and he goes, no, that didn't happen. Right? Whereas Gold Experience, Requiem, I shoot you with a gun. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, Diablo gets to say, I, uh, you shot me with a gun, but I didn't get shot. Whereas Gold Experience, Requiem gets to go, you shot me with a gun. No, you didn't. You didn't shoot me with a gun. Uh, it, okay. I shot you with... Okay. Uh, uh, King Crimson. I shot you with a gun. No, you didn't. That that bu bullet was never fired from the gun. Nothing happened. Yeah. I didn't get shot. Uh, Gold Experience Requiem, I shot you with the gun. Uh, actually, no. What happened is you died. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of losing everything... Yeah. Like... <laughs> Jiro's, Jiro's main reason for entering the race and doing the whole thing mm -hmm. is because he's fighting to save an, uh, a child that's wrongfully 
uh, sentenced to die. Okay. And if he do, if he wins the race, he can probably save the child. All right. So the whole thing goes down, and eventually the boy gets acquitted because yay, the good guys win. Great. And then a single panel with the picture of the boy's face says, "And then he died of a cold." It is single-handedly the coldest, <laughs> pun intended, harshest, most fucking unbelievable that's, thing that's Araki okay. has done. So I have I have just invented a term in my mind for this, and we're gonna fo- we will find other term ways to use this term, and it's called arc nullification. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right? Yeah. And you can immediately think of other yeah. things, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's where a single line of dialogue or a, a single event or whatever completely <laughs> nullifies every event and every character growth and everything that happened in an arc. Like, it is a single panel, and it's just a cute little picture of the boy's face, and it's like, and then he suddenly died of a cold. He eventually <laughs> died of a cold, and that's all you get. <laughs> it is unbelievable, man. That's pretty fucking rough, man. That's pretty for fun. what? For fucking what? Look, Look at these cool ass the kids. They're the coolest, aren't they? You know what else is cool? Sailors. Yeah, I guess. Shut just, up. Just like They're okay. fucking cool. Shut okay. up. Okay. 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 Like, JoJo has always had this amazing undercurrent of latent homoeroticism. That's correct. But having your character be this lithe, pretty, beautiful sailor boy... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...feels like... I'm not saying it's too much. I'm worried that there's nowhere to go. Uh, <laughs> Araki's fetishes are evolving. Yeah. We're watching a man discover himself sexually. <laughs> Over the course of 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the whole thing is about. Every part. And he had that one weird part where he's like, what about girls? And then he was like, no. Nah. Mm, maybe if they're androgynous enough, I guess. What a, okay, not girls, but what about boys that look like girls, but their legs don't work? Mm, okay, okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> All right, we got schoolboys. Yeah, no, no. Delinquents, thugs. Oh, boy. Mobsters. Italian mobsters. Yeah. <laughs> they lick each other's faces. Oh, man. Uh, I managed to find the wiki description of uh, nullification of cause and effect as experience, gold experience Wacker Room. So... If we want to take a stab at this, we can. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave it as confusing as it needs to be. All right. Unless you I will really read want one to... sentence here. Yeah, okay, read one sentence. It is mentioned by Jorno himself that even he is unsure of the exact <laughs> workings and limits of Requiem's powers. Shut up! Yo! And that... That, that right there is really good. Which one is he talking to? <laughs> well, the one that he knows. Are you sure? The the Josuke, the the Kira that we see has black hair in the uh, in the future. Okay. Are you sure? No, I'm really not. I'm I've never been less sure. But that's the fucker I know and love. Oh. And then Josuke, it's gonna be like what? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> Look at that strut! Yo! Swerve on a nigga! <laughs> yeah, of course you'd be around. So, here's what I don't want to happen that just hit me. What I don't want to happen is that, sh like, they grab the parts, put it together, and instead of Jesus. It becomes to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. We're done. Yep. Oh done. wow. It just, it, it, that was supposed to be just a like instant like oh fuck you Enya. Yeah, yeah, Enya <laughs> Just punch an old woman. All right, we're good. That woman is like responsible for like tens of thousands of deaths. Yeah. 
Like, per and, and like personally, the only reason why that fight becomes a challenge is because Polnareff is being all nice to an old lady. <laughs> like, if he didn't do that, if he was any other character there, it would have been fucking done. Abdul you know? would have had very similar problems. Yeah. Abdul's a very polite sure, guy. Sure, sure. I'll take that. Right, into, uh, right up until the time we get shot in the head. It's like, let's piss in this guy's mouth. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but like that that's literally the whole fight is like, oh no, you had manners. Oops. You know, and every time you turned around and she's got a knife like behind her back and you're like, Hey, you got a knife behind your back, lady? Yes, to make you apple pie with. Aw, why didn't you say so? Hey. Hey. He's got a star. On his design. Look at this sex god! Oh boy. I'm here to fuck the <laughs> universe! Look at the chaps! <laughs> Couldn't accentuate his dick more! And the universe is blushing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what parts he oh, you're right, that's right. No, wait, he shouldn't be. No, that's all eight. Plus what? his spine. Oh. What? He took it from Jotaro, though. Did he have some kind of back-out plan? Did he use the, the Star Platinum, the world, to, to take, take them it back, back at the last second? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please explain what the so fuck- So he- AGAIN?! Again! Yes. <gasps> oh! Okay. So the thing that didn't work actually worked. You see that? You see that stand? Kids bop. Yeah. It's an any take any normal stand, copy it and make it way shittier. But you can take anyone's stand at any time. And then you get <laughs> Kids Bop the World. Only time stops for you. Yeah. <laughs> Kids Bop The World continues. Kids Bop would be super strong. It'd be <laughs> But but like the, it depends on how shitty you make the it, shitty it's, copy. It's, yeah, yeah, right. But it's like say it's like thirty percent, that's still good enough. He tried to share that dick with way too many people. Wait. A gun? Yes. So... Okay, okay, so remember when I told you about the final test yeah. against Valentine? Valentine returned. There it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay! What? Valentine's for real. He means every word. Okay. I'm gonna not press X for a second. Oh, please don't tell me we have to do the whole game again. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold that's on. Very, that's very, uh, pointed. Very, like, blatant. Okay, let's think. What is the only time Joseph could have impregnated Josuke's mom? On a visit to Japan where he was hanging out with his daughter. <laughs> He's hanging out with Holly. And he's like, Pooh, I gotta get out of here and, and get some snatch. And he sees someone younger than Holly. Yeah, and he's like, Whoa. Mm, oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> go, go hang out in the van at the local university. Just, mm. just like, hey, I'm rich and old. Shut up! He gave a corpse part to Darby! So since no bet has been made, Jotaro should just punch him through the window. Yeah. One pair versus two pair. Fuck off. You won the game. And now... Now it's inescapable. You cannot lose. <laughs> like you're, are you betting reality on this hand, sir? Yeah. Are you sure that's what you would like to do? Are you sure you want to ruin yourself with the orphan maker? <laughs> what do you? What, uh, what, uh, what are you gonna? Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. What are you gonna? Oh no! Garbage! <laughs> Fucking oh! Three for three, budget. By the way, tell your brother he's shit at video games. Oh! I I I, I dislike um. 
Darby the Younger for one reason, and it's Darby the Elder Jeez. is like, I love cheating so much. If you can cheat and win, fucking cheat, cheat all day, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Darby the Younger is like, cheating is for losers, while he's cheating super <laughs> yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, I, I much prefer Darby the Elder's way of looking at things. It's like, I could, I would never cheat. I can just beat you no matter what with my own stand. And it's like, motherfucker. Uh, okay, so we've got Gashgata, we've got Joshu. We get, so that's probably a combo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okuyasu, your stand is so good and you're so stupid. If only you weren't so <laughs> stupid. Like, I feel like part four would be very different if Josuke and o Okuyasu had their stands switched. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, right? But could they have beaten Kira? Yes. The idea the idea of uh, just Josuke just fucking using the hand to just wipe away everything. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Like Dead. when I was Grandpa, why are you friends with a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> The longest possible story, son. <laughs> the longest possible story. No, listen. Listen. Li no, listen. <laughs> listen. There are some things in life that are worse than Nazis. To 2,000 year old posing pillar men. <sighs> Grandpa, where'd all this gold come from? Oh, boy. <laughs> Time to use my patented Joestar trick! <laughs> you know what, you know what, uh, I was thinking about uh, Zeppeli's grill, right? And mm -hmm. we were talking about how hard it is to get that grill back in the day. Yep. And it made me think of uh, 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 Jared Leto's Joker. Okay. And somebody, uh, I was reading, I was watching this YouTube video talking about how like they didn't quite like that portrayal of the Joker. And the best point I ever heard was the Joker doesn't seem like the kind of guy that's going to sit in the chair while you do hours of dental work on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Right? You can't take that away. <laughs> that, yeah. Like, no thing. Joker's not the kind of guy who wait the day and a half it takes to get tatted up like that. Just sitting <laughs> calmly in a chair, you know? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Like, that, that part of it falls apart for sure. Like, right away! Like... Like, you had he had to get it and somehow. And it's really intricate all over his body, too. Yeah. Like, damaged, ha-ha-ha, <laughs> the skulls. Anyway. Don't worry about that. Soft and wet. <laughs> yeah... Oh. Hey! Wait, he has the ability to steal it from the ground? Oh, <laughs> Hold on a minute! Wait, what? Not just from people? Oh, that's so overpowered! That's so strong! Holy I, fuck! I stole the concept of breathability from the air! <laughs> Are you fucking serious, man? <laughs> Holy shit! I recently knew somebody who was having a bad day, and so they went home and ate 23 jalapeno poppers, and then had multiple bad days in a row. That sounds about right. And then once they got over it, we were like, oh, so you feel better? He's like, not really. And we're like, why? Because I ate 24 pizza rolls or, or some <laughs> Jalapeno shit, pizza rolls. Or something, and we were like, why? Didn't you learn your lesson? No. No, I didn't. I learned nothing. What the fuck? Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, this is... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the you know, the, the, the fire burns through the clothes he's wearing. But, yeah. But not the metal. It's so jarring to cut back to fucking this. Oh, look at this, look at fucking, this fucking loser. Yeah, imagine he's solving the mystery. He's doing it. It's me, the biggest loser. I can't stop running, by the way. That's his thing right now. His, his... Yeah. 
What he's got? Oh, I'm so gonna shit my pants. His ability uh, thing is like it's like basically you. I don't completely understand it, but when you use it, he just starts running non-stop and like and if you don't take any damage or if you avoid getting hit or whatever he eventually goes like it's me i did it i did it i did it yeah i'm the best and then like he does that crazy laugh and you get a buff <laughs> yeah a serious case of bitch face you know that she tried to fix it yeah didn't go so good you know when we watched that episode i was sitting watching my watching the the cinderella episode with my girlfriend and it's yeah. like this isn't a romantic story these people are all fucked up including koichi for saying take my eyes out yeah. Uh, right? Cinderella Woman is just really stupid, crazy obsessed with being a fairy godmother to the point of being pretty much evil. And ruining people's lives. Yeah. For no reason. Choose yeah. your face from these things because of fables do that. So yeah. I guess that's what I want to do. And of course, fucking crazy ass uh, uh, chick herself. Is, is that what she took away from it? What? Your girlfriend? Basically. Okay. These are crazy teenagers that are, that are all obsessed with their shit and... Because it's not romantic at all. My girlfriend and I watched the, the the same episode together and had a very different takeaway. And what was that? Like she was like near tears over how romantic it was. Oh my god! That, that Koichi. Oh my that Koichi god! Koichi would like sacrifice his eyesight, dude. No, <laughs> no. And it's the same reaction, dude. Absolutely not. And it's the same reaction I have to like Romeo and Juliet when you step back a moment, because initially, <laughs> no, you initially, no, you're, it's so <laughs> romantic. You know, you're initially you feel that in your heart, and then you're like, wait, no, these are dumb kids making really stupid decisions. No, it's the thought that counts. God damn it, you did everything wrong, you dumb fucking children. <laughs> I I don't. But I, it's I, sweet. <sighs> but it's sweet. That's all that matters. Yeah, Reinhardt. Dumbness can push that diva. Dumbness can push that diva, Reinhardt. She's exploding, and you're gonna kill yourself. It's, Don't it's, block it to save your it's, team. It's sweet, okay, <laughs> dude. The sentimentality. Dumb things can be sweet. The sentimentality is real. Yeah. I'm not gonna pretend it's not. But when you step back and no. go, what is happening in no, this room? No, she's a fairy godmother. She's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like No, she's a hero. I'm going to make you a hideous creature for possibly no reason. No, she let also Dora da 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 rush times 2. She let hey, she fixed the problem cuz she, she was so sweet. Love conquers all. She was aff afflicted by by Koichi doing something also stupid but selfless yeah. and said, "All right, I'm going to make this go okay, away." Okay, so the part the part that's oh, actually that's crazy is that Koichi gets like horribly stalked and like misery style attacked by this chick who's like I'm gonna kill you for that penis yeah and then he's like after a while he's like no wait I am into that yeah sure <laughs> no but that's fine right that's, I'm not wait I'm, that's the part that's fine to you no 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 I'm saying I'm saying like the uh, I can I can get over the insanity of that slightly what I cannot get over is the fact that you would be willing to blind yourself in love. That's love. With someone that that's, you have a crush. That's love. It is a crush. That is love. It is a crush. That is truest love. You barely know the girl. You don't even believe in true love, do you? I mean, chemicals do what they gotta do oh, to make the world reproduce. See, that's, that's the problem. You gotta believe in true love. No, you don't know this girl. No, they're... God damn it, Willie. They're fuck off! They're so in love! Can't you see? Fuck the fuck Can't right off! Can't you see that? Watch this. I this will. is love. This right here. Wait, what? Josuke and Koichi. What is that? Together noise? again. <laughs> the noise is Dora! From both sides! That's good. Dude, like, Dora Ra 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 is an onomatopoeia owned by Josuke. <laughs> Reality agrees that he owns it, and when I write it, that's what it means. Hey, listen, Koichi digs strong women. You can dig them as much as you he want. Li he likes that she's willing to go out and get what she wants. But to take it to the level of being willing to sacrifice everything... She was willing to sacrifice everything for him! Because she's obsessed like a stalker is because in an unhealthy because way. Because love! Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't... <laughs> Fucking do this! I can't do this. You won't. You won't acknowledge their the height of their their emotions and their soul. But anyway, no. Like Cinderella is stupid 
and has no reason to do the things she does. She's making people happy. She's obsessed and she wants to live out her fantasies. She's empowering people to take the lives that they want. People are delusional and if you in high school, on the third or fourth time you met and hung out with somebody, yeah. fell for them so hard that you'd be willing to blind yourself, yeah. you have fucking problems. That's pretty bizarre. Dude, I love the idea of them being best friends. They would be! You can get this hand, I'll get the other. Yo, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick? Feel this card. Feel... <laughs> feel this business card. Oh my god! Where did you get that, Patrick? It's my business card. It's mine too! We're talking about not me. We're not talking about me. We're talking about uh, Patrick Bateman. You want to listen to some music? What are you? What are you thinking about? Huey Lewis and the News. <gasps> <gasps> this classic right here. Yeah. You see, it's it seems like it's about the pleasures of conformity, and that's true. But it's also a statement about the band itself. <laughs> you see that one where they edited it to be about JoJo? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. And it's awesome. It is, it's perfect. It is the perfect final form of that scene. Yeah. For years, we thought him pointing at the record, at the music, at the the record player yeah. or whatever, to for dubs was the final form. <laughs> but no. You know, there's the the the, the trope, and I'm watching Law and Order, right? The trope of, okay, so he's my son. I have to look out for him. And it's like your son's a serial rapist and murderer, right? Yeah. It's like, but he's my son, yeah. right, or whatever. And it's like, I thought about that deep and long, and what I came to the conclusion is that I will narc out anyone who is evil. <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. My mom, my dad, you, <laughs> don't come to Pat to hide the body. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, sounds about right. Because, like, I love my parents more than anything in the world, and I think they're the best. But if I found out that my dad was, like, a fucking serial murderer all this time, to go. that stops right the fuck here right now. <laughs> because that means that the relationship we had was predicated on the lie. Yeah. The implicit lie that I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of respect life, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. It's like... I never told you I wasn't a serial killer, and it's like, well... You just that's, assumed. That's a lie by omission, because it's to be assumed that you're not. Right? Um, and you know, a lot of the good movies are about that yeah. exact thing. That being said, robbing banks. Okay. <laughs> Someone sent me the clip of, um... Alessi breaking into the room, like doing the shining uh, yeah. homage with the axe, and he, and like his version of the Rero Rero is way worse. Cause he's like, I'm here, pull not a foo, da 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 It's so much creepier. Yeah. Also cause he's aiming it at a child. Well Dio's gonna lose now, because Dio's going up against true love. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for once in my life, Jotaro nails it. Uh, a bit of the Catherine LP just leeching into this thing. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's take some bets. All right. Will Poochie betray? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Way more important than that. Okay. Who's the Seme and who's the Yuke? I don't know which one is which in that. Who's the top and who's the bottom? I'm gonna say Dio's a power bottom. I'm gonna say Dio's a power bottom. <laughs> like, he, he pushes back. <laughs> he's like that, uh. He's like that fucking, um. There's this fucking Arby's commercial. Have you ever seen this thing? Yeah. Where there's a talking oven. And it's talking to the guy who works at the at the in the back of the RPs. Okay. He's like, "Yeah, put the bread in me." And the guy's like, "Oh, oh." He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna cook the bread real good inside me." And it's super, oh, it's super intense for an no, RPs ad. No, no, no. It's really oh, oh. you. Uh, if somebody can find it, uh, <laughs> send it to me on Twitter so I can show it around to people. Yeah. But it's super intense. Yeah, yeah. 
Dio takes control from underneath. Yeah. Because that's the way... All right. Because it'd be too tired for him to just be a top. I mean, that's too. He's odd. used to. He's used to crawling up from the bottom. <laughs> so you know. So the my favorite part of us doing this JoJo LP is starting to manifest, and it is. It is dank memes showing up on our subreddit. That's correct. That are just screenshots of arguments about Kring Crimson. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is just screen grabs of text message arguments on people's phones, or you saw, fucking, so, fucking uh, 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 Facebook arguments or forum posts. That, where it's like, no, this is how that King Crimson latest. Works. What's his, Valentine sliding between realities in 1890? Yeah, Dio defeats Jotaro in uh, 1990, 1991, 1989. Why the fuck would he encounter? encounter this timeline in the future. Um, yes! Magita, uh, magic. Yes! I do it for just. Dude! Valentine is the fucking best. I like. I like. An Replace idea. the word justice with Murica. I, I, I like. You have no chance, but you're awesome for trying. I, I love the, the villain who is not malicious. He's just idealistic and wrong. <laughs> that's what he would like, dude. Faced with the end. <clears throat> faced with the end. That's what he would say, because that's what he does say. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're a scumbag piece of shit? You hid that gun on you? Everything I do, I do it for America. Miracle. Did he just, like, after annihilate Valentine from whatever? By moving into a different reality? Or did he actually fight him? I... <gasps> oh, no! By the way, how about this for... Try this one on for size. Oh, no. Dio is causing my mom to die because her stand is killing her. And she can't control it. Hey, Poochie, you want to knock this stand disc out of my mom's head and save her life? Yeah, sure, man. Here you go. Cool. <laughs> Imagine if back then, since oh. Dio and Poochie were a thing. Okay. <laughs> if the, if Dio just said, "Look, stop, stop," I'll just here's my boy. I'll, I'll just fix your mom. No problem. We'll just fix her in like two seconds. Like I know I hate you, Joe Stars. Here, I got you. <laughs> Could you imagine? They'd still be after him, though. Of course they would, but for way less, like, motivational reasons. And then they would lose. Maybe that's what happened. They'd be Because they'd lose. <laughs> if, they didn't if they didn't care that much. <laughs> they'd be after him just because Dio. Yeah. They wouldn't, you know? Yeah. But the whole my mom is on the line thing. He's like, no, no, no. Here, I took the disc. She's good. Every time I would talk about the, the cause doesn't matter versus effect doesn't matter thing, there's a specific person that gets in touch to, say that, I'm, to say that I get it wrong each time, yeah. but I'm actually pretty sure I'm not getting it wrong, because... It just works. The, the things you're doing in the, in the time that gets deleted in uh, incognito mode. <laughs> In yeah. real life incognito oh, God, mode. Going into that one. Yeah. Oh, cool. Those actions still exist. They happen. No, they don't happen. They don't happen. They get removed. But you still have the thing the that you got. The creepy porn you you visited yeah. is gone. You getting that porn is gone, but you have the porn still. In your head? Yeah. But then the result- Now you can act on that porn. But gold experience- Re o only knows how to get the porn. Cr Chrome Requiem <laughs> is endless porn. Uh, it's, it's a browser that has nothing but porn on it. Can't. No, it's a browser that just never stops downloading porn, but you can never watch it. You can never watch it. <laughs> you it, it always starts and it buffers forever. How about that? They Questions? Um. Good. Loser. Moving along. Yeah, it's the loser brigade. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Are they a right. thing? No, no, no. Uh, Anna, Anna Sui is the thing. Okay. Anna Sui is. I saw something you said the other day, like just uh, on Twitter, like Anna Sui was originally a lady. Yeah. And and uh, had like nearly the same exact design, except for boobs. Yeah, except for boobs. And then Eric, he was like, "Nah, fuck it." No, he wasn't like, "Nah, fuck it." 
he was like, Jolene is going to have a girlfriend. Okay. And then the producer, the editor, was like, no, she's not. Oh, that's lame. And Eric, he's like, but, and he's like, no, she's not. And then he's like, no, she's not. Oh. Yeah. Well. I know. <laughs> I'm changing it in my head, Canon. There you go. Turn into a slug, asshole. I don't. Including my buddies. I don't get it. Isn't it great? How? It's great. That doesn't make... How is that part of the weather? How is that part of the weather? That he turns I, you into slugs. And I can put my blood on the ground and then... Yeah. Alright. Enough fooling around. No, you're not answering my question! Watch Magnolia! No, what does that have to do with JoJo? Because there's also all the shitty kids, the shitty Dio kids. Oh my god, we never got you guys. Oh, no, we didn't. I just no, we didn't. <laughs> anyway, um... The, uh... The oh my god, I love Iggy so much. And I love that he's so useless for so long. The best... And they don't even see him fight Pet Shop. The, yeah, no, no, the <laughs> best is how... He goes from being a dog to being a dog with a human face. <laughs> yeah. Like once he starts thinking and yeah, going through that whole start, thing, yeah. he just becomes a little mini furry man. Yeah, it's it's a little weird. You're a man in a fucking dog it's a little, costume. It's a little odd. What happened? How do you get your hair to you know, look like that on when, your head? You know when you type Enrico Pucci into Google, mm -hmm. it auto-corrects to Emilio Pucci. <laughs> so you really like it, it, Google's just like, no, you you want to look up this guy. No, I don't. I want to find out about Sea Moon. No, you want the fashion designer. Okay. Stop it. I guess I kind of do if I'm looking up at her. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Solid. The first thing we saw. Oh yeah, you know she spells her name differently, right? Uh, Jojo. Jo? Yeah, with an H uh, and a C. Okay. Because fuck Daddy Jotaro. Okay. Um, okay. And so she's got strong hips. What you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> strong hips, man. Mmm, something. All right, all right. Calm down. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, talk to Bill Burr about it. Yeah. God, I saw this post. It's like, hey, my name is ACDC, and me and my boys have this this sick ancient Mesopotamian pose wall, <laughs> and uh, we waited two thousand years until some other fuckers started posing harder. So we had to come down to show them what's, what's what the deal was or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Uh, it was just, uh, That's a pretty good pose, bro. Good pose wall. Yeah. Man, Jolene, like, you know how everyone gets their, like, amazing, like I said, their amazing final attack yeah. type of thing or, and whatnot. Jolene's clutch last minute fucking thing, mm -hmm. things are going so badly <laughs> that her amazing clutch play is hooking her string up to Emporio and some dolphins and having them swim away from Pucci as fast as possible because he's so beast that you can't beat him. It's amazing. It's like like the the sick ass move is running away yeah. harder than we've ever ran. I was looking at a Tumblr today called uh, uh, Dirty Ass Jojo Confessions. <laughs> and like it's that. it's a bunch of fucking t t image macros of like, I want cock yoin inside me. <laughs> or whatever. But one of them, and the, people, it's, it's, it's these fucking uh, uh, posts that people have made images for after the fact. Yeah. And the, fu the one that kills me is like, I want to go to SeaWorld and throw a fucking photo of Jotaro into the dolphin and <laughs> because that's where he belongs now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. That wasn't that cool, Jotaro. Yeah. You thought it was, but it wasn't. You ever see like you, you see like uh, someone going to the barber and it's like, yo, what you in the what you in the mood for? It's like, yo, you ever see JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? He's like, get out say of no, my, no, get no, 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 and, and then the barber shirt, the barber's like, say no more, fam. And then you just see the guy with the with the tie top with the cut that looks like he's wearing a hat. Yeah, that kind of shit. So just like Poochie walks into a barber shop, like, it's like, what you in the mood for? It's like I'm want I'm awaiting the new moon. Oh, I want yeah. to go to heaven. I got you, fam. Say no more, fam. <laughs> oh, why don't we just go into a cutscene? Dio knows how to pick him, boy. 
He knows how to fucking pick. Oh, yeah, he's gonna hit the fucking statue of Athena! Wow! Wow! That's awesome. Oh my god. Ride or die. And then Jonathan's like, man, we should move that. <laughs> I love, there's a lot of things that I love about this, but as we pointed out before, I just, it's happening again, and it's been, for the final battle, it's like Speedwagon and the horse are there. As they should be. Like, listen, Speedwagon and the Speedwagon Foundation are the Joe Stars stand. Family stand. The family stand yeah. is the Speedwagon Foundation. Great. Underappreciated. Infinite resources <laughs> and backup and prosperity, and they'll believe you. Infinity into the future. My question is: the salary for working at the Speedway and Foundation must be quite lucrative. <laughs> I wouldn't want to work for the Speedwagon Foundation. I mean, I'd F fly over here and give this guy some water in a jeep. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> rot row. Time to knock on that family's door. What? Why does this... Why do you have a, a flag draped over a water canteen? <laughs> Ma'am, you might need to sit down for this one. Straight forward and to the point. Oh, that's great! Whoa! <laughs> no! That's great. All that hard work. Oh my god, Mr. President was so important. Mr. President turned. Speedwagon's fucking face turn was so baffling. Because it's so fast. <laughs> He takes the hat off, he throws it, and he it nearly decapitates him. <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get yeah. ya. And then Jonathan gives like a little speech, and he's like, Oh my I'm turning my whole life around. <laughs> Look at that feminine it's penis. Rubber yeah, rubber nips. <laughs> that girly penis of yours. <laughs> oh, we're getting in there, huh? <laughs> Look, the playthrough is about to end. We is it? We <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't know. I actually think you're gonna have to actually do like another round with nearly yeah. everybody for, for game stretch purposes. Which, but, like, but my point is that now is the time to break JoJo down to its most component pure. parts. It's most pure. It's a penis wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Araki developing yeah. his, his over the course of thirty years. Yeah. His fetish is evolving. It's honestly, it works when you just imagine the Joe Stars as giant penises. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now, is the dress like a little frilly, like well, no, 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 tutu? No. And no, does no, it no. go hmm. in in part one? It's like a suit. It's like a penis wearing a suit. But then it starts tearing off its sleeves, right? And, and then, then in part two, it's like, well, maybe if the penis wore a scarf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> then, like by part five, it's like there's mesh on it. There's mesh, and there's a little heart. Yeah, on it. Yeah, and then you just add the tutu for yeah. part six. And then in part eight, you're just like, it's got a little sailor hat on. Well, part eight, there's there's a little sailor hat, but there's two pairs of balls. Yeah. Did it. <laughs> we did it. That's canon. That's canon. You're gonna have to beat all these motherfuckers again. I apologize to the artists in advance. Oh yeah, the ones that are gonna make all that <laughs> sick Patreon money. Drawn at shit. Throw that up on fucking Tumblr and yeah, see, yeah, see what, yeah, yeah. what the followers have to say. This is my new stand. It makes you shit out your dick nipples. There's a stand, by the way. <laughs> you love these. There's I know you. Stand, love these. by the way. That's like, called. It's called. Uh, you're just making these up now. It's called. Uh, uh, um, sh uh, shakedown, shakedown road or shakedown alley. I forgot what the name. It's the name of the song. Yeah. Whatever. But it's a street. Where it's a fucking nice horse combo. The street has a bunch of trees with leaves on them, right? Okay. And these leaves mm. have the ability yes. to make things happen in a way 
that it makes you do an action, like you slip on the leaves and go somewhere, and then you don't notice what happens, mm -hmm. and then you come back to where you were, and then you don't know what happens, but someone else nearby saw it happen. So a bunch of people on it stand around, and they let you break things, or they throw, they like you slip into things and whatever, and then they fucking exploit you for the money in the most Japanese way possible. Like, don't walk away and say nothing's wrong. We know, we're watching you. And then they use- I am so confused by this explanation. So wait, I go and I slip on the leaf, and I break something, and then I don't know what happened, but I did break it? The leaves have stands. I think, so far, until further explanation is given, I think No, that it's the street that has the stand! But then what is a street? What is a road? Where does that concept begin and end? Oh, the radio tower had a stand. So, but no, it wasn't the radio tower. It was the guy. He controlled the radio oh, tower. Well, no, he actually controlled it really badly. Yeah, uh, he was stuck inside of it. So we're adding plants to things that control their stands this, better than Holly Joe Star. This might be the case. A fucking leaf. Well, okay, say yes. We're not that far, right? And then go and continue, and then right, and then we'll, we'll see where where it happens. Come on, video games. Yeah, come on. Don't shit on us. We never shit on you. We sh- what? <laughs> that is the big- <laughs> You've never lied harder! Ever! <laughs> ever! <laughs> ever! <laughs> if you had a stand that made things- Yeah, Okay, if you, so we could just- yeah, Alright. All right. Whoa. If you had a stand- I, That was a harder quit than I expected. You, if you made a- If you had a stand that made things that you said true, you would, like, cease to exist <laughs> upon uttering that statement. Oh my god. <sighs> but where's the hero? What's the name of the horse? <laughs> uh, uh, slow dancer. Cause he's, he fell asleep. Yeah, I did. Oh! oh! That's, that's a good shot. I yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. I like that a but lot. But where's the hero amongst these heroes? I'm over here. Leaving this restaurant without paying. <laughs> to call in my mom a bitch. Dude, he feels so powerful when he says that. <laughs> I leave without paying all the time. Like... <laughs> And like I like you're supposed to go like oh sh damn John Rose the bat like what young kids smoking sitting in jail yeah this ghost brings things to me like John is <laughs> such a stupid weirdo oh wow so this is the most overpowered thing that could possibly exist he's he's got all the powers of Jesus and oh, all cool. of the souls of every Joe Star. Now you can ever. fly. Jeez. Oh shit! <laughs> Je oh! oh, that was cool. Because we're the same. Our stands are the same. Star platinum over heaven. Like, here we go. Why are you so stupid that you keep forgetting that? That was amazing. Well, you killed him. Good job. We beat the game. Dio's a bitch. Whoa! Uh, damn it. Not Gohan. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> Look at this fight that's happening, though. Yeah, the best, best part of the fight with Dio, for me anyway, is when Jotaro throws the magnet on his fingers, or his collar, to make it look like he's moving when he's not, but he's, <laughs> yeah. but he's actually moving. Or how about the phone books <laughs> under his jacket, under yeah. his shirt? You know? Practical okay. stupid shit like that. Goku's never gonna put a bunch of phone books under his shirt. Yeah. That's stupid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
That'll do it. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it, even though he's got his vampire powers, right? Like, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's reality. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. Oh, so he's with vampire power. Oh, I love how it's like it's really actually starting slowly. to feel yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're we're back. This is just a complete recreation of the fight. Like I'm gonna wait for you to get back up, and then I'm gonna hit you so hard, Dio. Dio, I'm gonna hit you so hard. <laughs> Dude, it's the same line. <laughs> Just hit him right now. Again. Uh. Boom. Okay, so like. So that that's clearly like that that Dio that beat Jojo did not beat experience him at this. the moment of this. He didn't experience this. That's why he ended up doing the exact that same, same thing. mistakes. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. I can let, and that's why Jojo would beat him instantly when that moment came again. He never he never got to this part. Uh, now I'm gonna override it so that everyone forgets. Now I'm going to overwrite reality so that everyone leaves me alone. <laughs> Especially my wife. <laughs> when I say give me a break, the world has to give me a break. Has to. <laughs> if you want to be really, like, like out there with your fan cannon bullshit, you can say the reason why Star Platinum learns to stop time is so that people can leave him alone for a second. <laughs> the real question isn't, hey, if Joseph's body became a fucking ghost and went to heaven, how'd he come back to life? Mm -hmm. The real question is, how come Joseph isn't a vampire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Because it was <laughs> that's exactly how Vanilla Ice got turned into a vampire. It was his own blood going Shut back into his body. Shut the fuck up! Shut your fucking the, stupid the, mouth. The, uh, what? Did you rewrite this reality? Huh? That's not supposed to happen. No, you can't do that. That Jotaro. doesn't work. That's Mo a bad idea. Most of the people you meet will not exist now. <laughs> or I don't know how that's gonna play out. Would they wait? Seriously? No, no, you can't. No, 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 Just no. Jotaro, what the fuck did you do? That's so stupid, dude. Wally, what's the number one rule of time travel? You can't. Fuck with anything because the ripple will continue forward and yeah. have a butterfly effect. I, I like the more specific version of that uh, rule. Is the first rule of time travel is don't go back in time and kill Hitler. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen oh if my you go God. back in time and kill Hitler. God, because right? things might be bad now, right? But you have no idea how bad they could possibly be in an infinite series of like. Okay, say say Joe Turo has Iggy and, and, and Avdol and Kakyoin and they're around, right? So he doesn't have to try as hard fighting the stand users that Poochie sends against him. So they just straight up just lose against Poochie. Ba uh, just, just straight up. Back it up even further. Uh, when when Polnareff is attacking Diavolo, uh, when he first discovers uh, what the fuck's going on, he has uh, other dudes at his side to, to fight Diavolo with. And they possibly beat him as a group. Okay, how about this one? Avdol was in charge of searching the east end of town for tailors to find the button. Oh, he missed that one shop, so Kira got away. The end. <laughs> the, the end. The end. And then he slowly picked them off one by one. Uh. Like, like you, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, uh, you know, I, I don't even, I can't even imagine all the places, but it's like having them around in future parts could have meant a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and entire, entire things going completely differently. What the fuck are you doing? It like, cause a lot of the wins are like, it just so happened. 
to play out in this very specific way that allowed the heroes to win. Jesus Christ. Jotaro so, doesn't know. He doesn't it's know. Like, it's like the question of, like, if you could go back in time and change and, and relive your life up until this point, would you do it? I'm like, no. I got really lucky in a bunch of really obscure ways to get to where I am right now. I don't think I'd be able to recreate those events. Yeah. And he's the same asshole that tells fucking Josuke that you can't bring the dead back. You can't bring back your grandpa. I brought back my grandpa, but that's different. He's not. Your grandpa is not important enough. He's not a stand my user. Gra my grandpa is super cool. He fucked your mom. He fucked your mom so hard. Your grandpa is just a cop. He's an old cop. He's been on the job for a while. It's fuck it. Let him die. Let me tell you about the pillar man. Oh, 11 obviously. years later. Oh, so this is the, this is the fucking, oh my God. It's Whoa, no, Leo, Cho. no. Oh, this is Canon Koichi. Yeah. Hmm. Hey! Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Yes! Fucking finally! Canon! Be because, because there's more stand users that are his pals, he's able to spend more time with Jolie. My daughter turns out to be not what I wanted. I should have tried harder. Let me fix that. Because I get to do that. Yay! I get to be a good daddy. Yay. Jotaro is the strongest character I will ever invent. <laughs> He's the coolest and the strongest and he doesn't skirt or nothing.